Hello YouTube, this is my tutorial on how to download and use the Mole Weaver. And uh, we're gonna also gonna make videos on <coughs> Sony Vegas and Adobe After Effects. So, the first you wanna do is go to your internet and go to oh shit. Go to www.download.com and search for WinRAP. The link will be in the description. Okay, so here is uh, the download for 32 bit and 64 bit. I use 32 bit, so uh, I'm gonna download this. But if you use 64 bit, download this. So, just click download now, and uh, the download pop-up will be in a moment, so here it is. Just save now and install the program. Now you want to go to www.fraps.com and click on download and uh, download Fraps. 3.2.3 setup. Uh, the link will also be in the description. Just click download and save the file and install the program. The next you want to do is go to www.vomobileweaver.org. Now you want to download one of these. If you use Mac, download this. If you use live version, download this. And if you use uh, Windows, download this. Uh, and for Windows, we're gonna click here. For Mac and live version, I think you just so download. Click a uh, press. Click on this uh, link. But uh, I'm Windows, so I press this. Now you can see there is a bit of link. There's some. So, this is for wi Windows 32 bit, and this is for 46 bit. I'm gonna download 32 bit because I use 32 bit. And again, also, if you have 64 bit, download this. So, just click on it and click on the link. And uh, hit save file, and I'm gonna. Uh, Save it on the desktop. Save. Now we can just close the internet. Okay, now you're gonna open the Rinra file and you see there's a folder. Go to your drive where you're gonna save it and and uh, just hold on it and drag it into your drive. Just wait a minute. I just I suggest yes to all because I have it one time before. Okay, close it and uh, just open the folder and open the mole wheel. And make sure you have the last is patch of World of Warcraft <clears throat> okay now just take a, a character you wanna have in your video just take a draw <clears throat> Here. Here you can uh, change the skin and the uh, dress and all that if you want to have a head or something on. Yeah, I'm not gonna have one. This is just a test. Okay. Just uh, take uh, one move and you will have. I just take the walk and uh, now go to the wheel and background color make sure you don't have uh, the color from uh, the character 
if you take a green one and the character has some green on the, on him, it will disappear. So just take a color that the uh, character don't have here. So now we're gonna open fraps. And uh, make sure you know where to save the file. So, go and do this. Press F9 to uh, uh, make a movie on the character. So now it's gonna just move. Press F9 again, and it has saved the saved the movie. Now just close the fraps. Okay. And close the model wheel. Go to uh, drive and fi find uh, Sony Vegas mm, program. And let's go. Hello, I'm in Sony Vegas now, so we can continue. It's if. We should wait for its startup. It will take some time. So, go to your explore and find your background if you have one and the clip. My here. Here. Okay, just delete the audio track if you want. Of course, and I'm just gonna get it to the here. Here you have it. But we can see the green screen in the background of him, and that's not so good. So we're gonna make that disappear. Here, so take media effects, right click and click media effects. And uh, we're gonna take the Sony Chroma gear. Press OK. And now just find your color of the background like this. My screen, so I have to take that. And when you have found the color, the screen will disappear and we're gonna close this. So now we're gonna. Get him to move because he just stand there and walk, and that's not what we want. So right click and take the no, just press the the little even pan crop tool there. So now you can see when we move him, he gonna move uh, out of the screen. But if we move him all the way here you can see he gonna disappear before he really should be gone so what we're gonna do is right click match output aspect mm, here and now we can take the this to the end of the timeline and just make him move the other way, sir. If you hold shift, you it's gonna be easier to move. This. I'm just gonna go to the front and get him away from the screen, like this. Just close it, and when we're gonna play. You can see he moves out of the screen. So that was the tutorial for Sony Vegas. Now I'm gonna show you how to do it on Adobe After Effect. So just close Sony Vegas and and watch the part two of my tutorial. See you.